Welcome back to Art with Miss Mullins. Today we're going to learn how to make origami stars. These adorable little stars are just so cute and once you learn how to make them, it's hard to stop. I'm pretty addicted myself. You can take these, you can put them in a glass jar, you can string them and make a little banner out of them. They're just so cute and they're not too hard to make. So let's get started. To get started, you're going to need some paper. I'm using pattern paper, but if you don't have pattern paper, that's okay. If you want your paper to be colorful, you can always color one side of it. You're also gonna need some scissors. If you would like to measure, I would grab a ruler and a pencil. All right, so I've decided to measure mine. So I'm gonna turn my patterned paper over so that any marks I make are on the back all those pencil marks will be hidden. So here I'm measuring out half an inch on each side. That's how wide I want my strip to be. Once I've measured it, I'm going to slowly and very carefully cut as straight a line as I possibly can. Now, once you have your strip, make sure the pattern side or whichever side you want to be on the outside is facing you. You're gonna start by taking the top of the strip and bringing it down, sort of making a U shape. Be sure not to crease anything at this point. Next, you're gonna take that strip and fold it over, making it look sort of like a ribbon. Then you're gonna take that little end that you started with and tuck it in and pull. Don't pull too tightly. We're just trying to get our edges all aligned and get nice seamless points. This may take a while to do, it's okay. Just be patient with yourself and do the best you can. Once you've got it fairly snug and all the edges lined up pretty nice, take that extra tail and fold it in. If it's too long, you can always cut it a little shorter with scissors and then fold it. Now you're gonna take that long tail and you're gonna start repeatedly folding it over. But when you fold it over, you want the edges of the strip to line up with the edge of your pentagon you just made. So as you fold, make sure it lines up with the closest edge. And repeat this step until you get to the end. All right, once you're at the end, you're gonna have a little tail. If the tail's a little too long, again, you can take scissors and snip it a little bit. Then you'll tuck that tail in. Now you should have a pentagon. Now you're gonna take your pentagon and holding it firmly, take your thumbnail and in between two points, push down very gently. You're gonna do that all the way around. And once you've done that all the way around, you'll have your little star. I hope you enjoyed making this cute little origami star with me today, and I'll see you next time.